Hello, my fantastic art students. Today we are going to trim the sides of our artwork here. And then we are going to make some alliteration talking bubbles. So we just watched a video about alliteration and what that means. Does anybody want to raise their hand and remind the class what alliteration means? I'll pause the video. Okay, so if you said alliteration is where all the words in a sentence or something start with the same sound, then that would be correct. Or if you said something similar to that. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. So we want to free this artwork and make it into a square here. So the easiest part to start with is this ground because it already has a straight line. So I'm just gonna have you guys take your scissors. I'll wait for you guys to get your scissors. Okay, and now we can go ahead and cut this extra paper at the bottom off. So go ahead and cut the bottom off. There we go. And we'll just set this. Whenever we have scraps of paper or trash in this room, we work with our table to make one pile of the recycled material. So take your paper, put it in the middle of the table and everybody from your table will work on that same pile. So if somebody has already from your table put their recycling in the middle of the table, find that and put yours on top so you can make a pile. So we just have one pile from each table. It's a lot easier for cleanup that way. Okay, so now let's go ahead and cut the left side and you can trim some of the ground off. So I'm gonna go ahead and just cut I'm trying to make this rectangle have a nice straight line. And there we go. Cut this side off and set it in the middle of the table. Alrighty. And then let's do the top. Okay. And then let's do the side. And it's okay if you cut off some of your alligator. Okay, so it looks something like that. Actually, I'm going to, I'm looking at mine and I'm noticing that this line on the left goes over to the left instead of going straight like this. So I'm actually just gonna trim that side so it's straight. There. So you want your art to look a little something like this. And all of our recyclables are in one pile in the middle of the table here. Something like this. So I'll pause it and let you guys catch up. Actually, I think that this could be a little bit more straight too, don't you? There we go. That looks so nice, right? Now that it's all colored. Because you know in art class, we don't really like to leave a lot of white spaces. Unless it's like, you know, clouds or speech bubbles like we're about to do. Or eyes or teeth. You know, those are some things that we can leave white. Now, when you're a little bit older, I'll actually teach you how teeth actually do have shading on them and teeth actually aren't perfectly white. There's actually shading that goes onto them, but I'll teach you that when you're older. For now, in second grade, you can keep the teeth white. Okay, and then later on, also, don't worry about this here. We're gonna color this inside of the mouth with blue so it won't look so wonky. Okay, so we can go ahead and set that aside. And now I'm going to pass out some really nice thick white paper to you. So I'm going to pause it and get that passed out. And now we're going to make some speech bubbles. But first, let's write down an alliteration um, sentence or like a little miniature alliteration poem. Something that our alligator might say. So you could think about what personality your alligator has. Okay, Leo. That was my dog making a fun noise. He was talking. Leo had an idea, my dog. Okay, so for instance, um, I have an example for you. My alligator, I'm gonna pretend that he really likes peaches. So something that he's gonna say is, please place peaches in my pockets. So if you want to write that one down, you can. 
So I'm going to zoom in so that if you guys wanted to use my sentence, you're welcome to. So it's P L E A S E. And then we actually write comma after please. And then place P L A C E. And then I'm going to want this to be a speech bubble like this. So I'm actually going to go to the next line now. Please place peaches in, I in, my pockets. Which is kind of silly because alligators don't have pockets, but we're just playing pretend. So I'm pretending that my alligator likes peaches and that he has pockets. And so this is my alliteration that I made for him, my alliteration sentence for him. And now I'm going to turn this into a speech bubble. So I'm just going to circle around. And then before the circle's all the way closed, I'm going to put a little, it's sort of like a triangle, but just two lines of the triangle, like a letter V. Okay. So there, there's one of mine. Now, who, let's all think, let's take a minute to think. So put your finger on your head, we're thinking. Thinking. We are thinking. We're thinking, what is another sentence our alligator can say? Now, I will pause the video and if you would like to share what you are gonna have for your next thing that your alligator says, you may raise your hand. And share okay very good so you can go ahead and get started writing yours that you came up with I'll go ahead and write mine that I came up with I'm gonna put Allie alligator ate apples because I'm pretending that my alligator has a friend named Allie and she likes apples Okay, so once you finish writing your sentence, before you do your speech bubble around it, I want you to just kind of think about where you're gonna put this speech bubble. So this speech bubble that we did first together, notice how I have the little V facing towards the bottom left. Well, it would make sense, like the little V is gonna be facing his mouth, right? Cause that's where words come from, or some of his mouth. So when I cut this out, I'm gonna put it here on this side. So I'd like you to just think about where you're gonna put this one. If you're gonna put it in the middle, then your V should be down at the bottom middle, right? If you're gonna put it on the right, you would put the V at the bottom right. Does that make sense? Because the V, we want it to be facing the alligator himself. Okay, so now that you've made that decision, let's go ahead and circle almost all the way our alliteration sentence and put the V where it makes sense for your decision that you made. Okay? Cool. So let's do one more. So if you'd like to share um, your next sentence that you're going to do, raise your hand and I'll let you share with the class. I'll pause it. Okay, very good. And for my next one, I am going to put Steve saved seven seagulls. I'm gonna pretend that he has a friend named Steve who saved seven seagulls. These are all gonna get cut out, so. Don't worry about where you put them on this paper because it's gonna be cut out from this paper.
All right, now once you finish yours, go ahead and turn your card blue. The blue cards say that I have finished my mission and your mission currently is to make three alliteration sentences and speech bubbles. So once you finish that miss mission, turn your card blue. And then once that's blue, your bonus activity, because the blue card says, I have finished my mission and I'm working on my bonus activity. Your bonus activity is you can just free draw something on your paper down here. And I'll let, like, like down on this here, just draw whatever you want and I'll let you take it home. Because in our next step, we're going to cut all these out and I'll let you cut out this little free draw space and take it home. Okay, so that is your next step. So I'll go ahead and do some free drawing. I'll do a cupcake. Well, 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 no, no. That's the frosting for my cupcake. Yep, yep. We don't need colors to do this. We can just we can just draw. You don't have to free color. You can just free draw. You can do a lot with just a pencil. So now I'll go ahead and pause it if we still haven't all finished our three thought bubbles or talking bubbles, speech bubbles. And I'll go ahead and push play once we're all done with that. Okay, so our next, we're actually going to, you know, we'll cut these out and glue them in the next video, okay? So you guys did a great job with this. So proud of you guys and thanks for watching.